Today we're gonna do a year in review book tag. Okay, starting this year in review, let's have some insights of Goodreads. Goodreads told me that I've read so far 77 books from which I will be selecting the best for this tag. I've read 36,065 pages, which seems like a lot. The shortest book that I read had 160 pages and it was Powerful Cow, which is a non-fiction book. And the longest was Oathbringer with the 1,248 pages of wholesomeness. It seems that the average book length that I've had this year is 494 pages, which I think is a very decent amount and that I've done a very good job. The most popular book that I've read this year seems to be The Song of Achilles, shelved by more than one million people. The least known is Winds of Strife, which is a self-published book and it's an adult fantasy series. This is the first book. And now let's get into the book tag. I was nominated by Patrick Ryan. I will leave his channel down below. He is specialized in adult fantasy and this tag consists in 10 questions that are aimed to wrap this year. Here on this channel I do book recommendations and reviews. I publish bookish content every Thursday and Sunday for you to enjoy. If you want to stay tuned click the subscription button and if you end up loving this video give it a thumbs up. Alrighty the first question is what was your favorite book of the year and mine was Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book in the Stormlight Archive saga, an epic fantasy story, and this one consists mainly on Dalinar. He is kind of this warlord that now has turned into a politician and he needs to work out his past, also discover his powers and save his land. The second question is what's your favorite series that you started but not finished? And this surprise to no one is the Aurelian Cycle. I've read already the first and the second book, Fireworn and Flying Fall by Rosaria Munda. The next one, Pure Song and the End and Conclusion will come next year and this is a young adult fantasy series that mainly talks about revolution, dragons, it deals deeply in the relationship between our main two characters that are friends but have a very different background and overall this story is a very good blend between a character and a plot driven story. The third question is what's your favorite series finished for this year? And that is A Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. This is a Japanese inspired story. It's full of folklore. It's full of beautiful compelling characters and it's a young adult series that it's not particularly new but it's super sweet. It is a quest and we will follow this main character that needs to go from her temple to another temple to you know just save the life of everyone in the land and in that quest she will meet a lot of different characters a samurai a ronin and a lot of other characters that it will steal your heart it's beautifully written and it's very very fun it's very plot driven goes very fast and it has this kind of video game sense to it the fourth one is your favorite author discovered this year and being honest i would say that it's either Rosaria Munda with the Aurelian Cycle or Tracy Dion, the writer of Legendborn. But being realistic and seeing my good risk compilation for this year, I must confess that I did discover Jennifer L. Armentrout this year and I've read so far like five books of her. So I think that maybe she is the one. She mainly writes romance or fantasy romance and overall it's young adult, so. <laughs> yes. Question number five. What is your favorite new character of the year? That's maybe Light Song from Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This adult epic fantasy and it's a standalone and it mainly talks about this land that is kind of at war and in this land we have these gods that are people reincarnated. This book is a very good blend between a character-driven and a plot-driven story. Light Song is one of these gods and he has come back. He's now this super god but he doesn't really believe that he is a god so he invests a lot of time telling the people that follows him that you know you should not be following me and overall I have so much fun with him. He is 
so precious and deserves everything. Question number six, your favorite release of this year. And I'm between two, but I will leave one for the last question. So I'll pick Dark Rise by C.S. Pekat here. This is the beginning of a new young adult series that talks about darkness and light and it's forever fine and we will have this character who is torn between both parts and he might be the only one in charge of saving the world from darkness this is a chosen one story 100 percent. it's a little bit slow so maybe it's a little bit on a character driven side which i loved number eight it's what's your biggest surprise of the year and this will be the sword of Kagan. and this is an adult fantasy standalone that is mainly immersed in this asian setting and we will follow this mother and the son who live in this place that are the last resource for the invaders and in this world they have elemental magic fire water wind and all of that and we will follow these two characters as they indeed need to you know face themselves as well as the invaders at some point this book it's highly emotional it touches a little bit on a chosen one it's very character driven but at the same time it has the most vivid action scenes that i've read in the whole year and are fantastic question number eight what's your biggest disappointment this year and for me sadly is going to be overall the poppy wars series but especially the last book the burning god this is an adult fantasy series that it's mainly a war story and we will follow this main character that discovers that she might be a shaman she will use this power throughout of the war that it's unfolding in her land it's highly political it's highly war strategic driven and the last question is what is the book that you'll recommend to everyone project hell mary and this book is the sci-fi standalone that will follow this guy that is in space and he doesn't remember why he is in this spaceship and you know what is he doing there? So he will need to work on his memories, discovering that he is indeed in a very important mission to save the Earth and overall face different situations that will melt your heart. It's a fantastic book. A little bit is an extra. I will tag some friends and I would like to start with Belle's library. She mainly reads fiction and she has this broad spectrum in which she reads fantasy but young adult and adult a little bit of sci-fi also romance and also i would like to nominate christy reads she is specialized mainly in fantasy she does book reviews recommendations some book hauls and that was it for today i really hope you liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one subscribe to the channel if you will and i really hope to see you soon in another video Bye bye